Welcome back, peeps, to Cafe Rouge. We are now starting chapter two. Because chapter one has ended. And I wrote down the key because when you play this game, you're going to have to remember the key because it'll come in handy later. And I think this is the same introduction from um, chapter one. So I can edit it in there, I'll probably more than likely just leave it out, so skip. And there's Antoine. The street lights glowed, daunting orange. It was the middle of the night as I closed the cafe door behind me. And as I began walking, I couldn't help but stop and look back. My first job, at the most unexpected place anybody would suspect. I, Isis Black, am now working at a vampire cafe. No matter how much I repeated that to myself, I just couldn't believe it. Vampires, blood-sucking monsters who roam the night, preying on human blood. The thought of it gave me shivers. What in the world have I gotten myself into? Tomorrow would be my first day of work, and no matter how badly I wanted to quit, I was blackmailed by my boss to work here after discovering Café Rouge's secret. Gah! Oh, forget it. Just, just forget it. I should be heading home now. It's getting late. Today's special is vanilla ice cream, guys. I like vanilla ice cream. Delicious. As I said before, I get really lost doing this stuff. Um. There's the school, and... Here we are. I'm home. Mom and Dad sat on the couch playing chess on their digital pads. Do they hear me? Um, Mom, Dad, guess what? I got a job. Isis, how many times do I have to tell you not to interrupt? Yeah, yeah, but I, but I wanted to tell you the good news. I was looking for a job so I could help pay the mortgage and bills. And now I can finally help. Is this how you've been wasting your time? I know, I, I mean... So this is what you've been doing instead of paying attention to your grades? But, but I'm getting straight A's and... An A minus is not an A. It's a minus. It's under an A. It is never an A and never will be. Dang, man. These parents are a little... Different. Why? Because you can't even see them. I know that, and that's why I'll, that's why I'll fix that. I'm just a few points away from a 95, so... How dare you talk back to your father like that? Do you know how hard it is to pay for your health condition? You don't even appreciate all the money we put into your medical bills to keep you healthy and let you live under this roof. Why are you such an ungrateful little girl? I says... Please, just go to bed. Your mother and I are too busy. Playing freaking chess on your iPads. Stupid. Quadrillion dots. Okay. And this is where you enter your password from chapter one. The reason for these passwords is, um, I think there are two different ways you can finish this game, or maybe there's multiple endings. It gives me a different... Um, outcome to the story or gives me a different part of the storyline so I think that's what set f that's for so if you play this game write down your passwords write them down I found that out the hard way and I had to play it two times let's keep going dumping my bag on the desk I walked over and plumped myself on the bed sigh why are the stars so bright or is that just another stupid question? Why is everything so bright, even in the night? Eh, that rhymed? Quadrillion dots. 
What's wrong with me? My cell phone? Scrambling over to my bag, I pulled out my vibrating phone. Um, I think that was ringing. I don't know if that was necessarily vibrating. It's a text from Valen. Let's text him back. What's up? Nothing, lol. What are you doing? Nothing much, just finishing homework. Oh right, Little Miss Nerd is finishing her homework. That's due two days from now, lol. How are you so smart, Isis? I just don't get it. LMAO. IDK, I have no life, I guess. A minute passed and Valen still didn't text back. Date, foul? I waited. I quickly answered. Hello, Valen? Why are you calling me now? Tell me what's bothering you. Nothing's wrong, Val. And I skipped a line of text. <sighs> really, I mean, really, nothing. A lot of things happened today and... Don't listen to what other people say. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something, even me. That's right, peeps. Don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do something. You can do it if you believe in yourself. I know that sounds sappy. Even if it doesn't go the way you planned, you will still do well. You will have a, a sense of self-accomplishment. Okay, that was cheesy sentimental time with Raspa, and now it's over. Many people want grades like you have. Many people want to be you. You're an amazing human being. You're awesome. Repeat after me. I'm awesome. Like that one Spongebob episode where he's like, I'm ugly and I'm proud. Say that again. I'm ugly and I'm proud. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Say it again. I am ugly and I'm proud. Okay, that's enough. It's fine. I'm I'm really okay. Say it. I am awesome. Say it louder. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Woo. Yes. Clap for enthusiasm. Okay, peeps. I'm gonna split the video, and I will see you in the next time. Later.